Okay, I'm redoing Casino Week the Management. Since the last time I well the last time I did it, I wanted to put the full game up. Pretty much complete the whole game. Put up all the objectives. Tell you a few things, show you a few cool things about the game, and I end up de deleting some of the crucial parts to complete the game when I put up, well, I wanted to put up the Sims 3 videos, so. Now I have to redo the whole thing. I guess at this time I will choose a different city. Though I may end up not being able to complete it if it gives me an objective such as get 70 high, get 72 high rollers in your casino. Because to get the to get 72 high high rollers in your casino thing, the objective, that's objective seven in dollar and ten. It doesn't come up all the time because when you choose either little hope, I mean not little hope strings. If I knew how to edit, I would edit that out, but I don't know how to edit. I will try to teach myself once I get a program that can edit. I, could, I mean, I could do it at Windows Movie Maker. Oh, yeah, sorry, Windows Movie Maker, of course. But I'd have to teach myself. I only know how to put music up with it, that's all. But we're getting off track. That's my ADHD kicking in. Getting off track, yeah. Um... I like AD, she's hyperactive, d d whatever, fuck it, but, now, the only cities that actually switch objectives when you play them is, um, is, oh, fuck, I don't know my own game, well, we are choosing the Century on Casino, ah, Cashmore Heights, Dollar Ten, Chip City, that's the three, those are the three cities, those are the expansion pack cities, those actually, those, actually, they, they change objectives, and there's only a few, a few objectives that change in each city, I think it's four and seven that change, so it's two objectives in all these cities, and these three cities that change. Um, dollar ten is actually pretty damn easy if that objective doesn't come up. Yeah, it is pretty easy. I mean, the you can buy a bunch of new property. You you don't even have to spend a lot of money. Each property costs like fifteen thousand or ten thousand dollars, and in Chanceville, they're like thirty thousand the lowest. So. That it's quite easy to get properties in this city. Just to tell you, if you ever want to get a copy of Casino with the Management, first, first things first, you will need the European copy of Casino Inc., which is pretty damn easy to get. But once you try to get the management, it's hard. They were very limited of these made, and a lot of people don't want to sell theirs on eBay. I had a hard time finding this one. And I'm sick. I don't feel good. I have a headache. I was dizzy in schools, falling everywhere. Trying to send me home, my parents would pick up. But we're getting off track again. Back to the game now. <coughs> I don't know. I might pick Cashmore Heights. Nah. City's pretty boring. Oh, well, what day? You, you know, Little Hope Springs and Fortune Falls? If you choose one of these two cities... They don't have the expansion pack content in them. The reason for that is that the programmers are just too lazy to reprogram these two cities. Originally, what happens is when you complete an objective, th there are locked objects. When you complete an objective, you unlock a few objects. Now, they want to reprogram them with the management objects to unlock with, with, through, through the objective. So, they just left as as it is. Pretty damn cheap. And other thing is, if you get the expansion pack and you save a game, you'll notice at the end it says "Auto Saver Saved Game SX One." 
That's because, the reason for that is because Chanterville, Fortune Falls, and Little Hope Springs have a certain, have two pre-second, you know, competitors. Now, they, when you play the expansion, when you put in the expansion, well, before that you have the expansion pack in, these, well, all, all that I've ever played with the expansion pack is Chanterville, since you have all the objects in the management, because I don't want to play these two with just the, just the casino egg objects. I, I would like to play with the management objects, too. Now, Chanterville, your three main rival casinos are Crypt Casinos, Inc., with, without the expansion pack, Crypt Casinos, Inc., the Astro Casino, well, yeah, the Astro's Casino, Inc., and Astro Casino, Crypt Casino, Okay, Crypt Casino, Astro Casino, and Club Club Casino, and when you put the when you put the Manager Expansion Pack in, Chanterville, in Chanterville, Astro isn't in it anymore. They switch it. It switches over to to Toy. They switch, it switches over to Toy Box Casino, and the reason why the the re, no Auto Save SX pretty much comes into this by or Save Game SX pretty much comes into this by. By one thing, I mean like, let's just say if you had, uh, let's just say they, they didn't want to reprogram the save game system. I mean, the other ones programmed to save the cities that have, that have the original three, three competitor casinos, and when you put the management, it changes one casino, and they did not bother to reformat the, the, the saving system, so... They just completely put in a new saving system. By the way, all of your saved games are automatically they will they won't work. Once you put in the management, every same game you every save game you have will not work. You will not be able to load it due to the fact that they didn't program the game to reformat all of your saved games to put in the new casino the one new casino, the one new competitor. Let's just say if you wanted to load Chanterville, and it had the it had Crypt Casino, Astro Casino, Club Hope Casino, and you put the Manage Expansion Pack, and the Astro Casino gets changed to to to, to, to Toy Box Casino. Pretty much, your saved game will not reformat itself to have the to have the the Toy Box Casino in it. So, they will not load that game. You try to load it, it'll get you out of the game and say, an error has occurred. So, just delete all those saved games you have. You will not need them anymore. I don't think that's cheap. I mean, for one day, it would be kind of complicated for the for a small company. Well, not really, but maybe perhaps... I know that Kona Live Europe doesn't really... They don't really... They, they make a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean... They make more Yu-Gi-Oh than anywhere else. I looked them up. All I pretty much found was Yu-Gi-Oh games on their site. Not much more. This is actually Konami's first simulation game. The only one they have, and it was made by the European branch. <coughs> I have other casino management games. And I, have, I have other casino sim games, and this one's actually the best out of all of them. It has a lot more content than all of than the other ones do. Although I would have liked it to have some more attractions, but it's it's fine. I mean, even though it may not, I I, I actually think that it's pretty detailed. It may not look the best, but it does look pretty good for all the for the. I mean, all the graphics look pretty good for the file size of the game only being. 5.38 megabytes total with both the, with both games. Okay, so this video is gonna be ending soon. Uh, I guess I'll see you in part two of I'm probably gonna name that Casino Link the Management Objective One Part One. This one's just gonna be Casino Link the Management Intro. Think out loud now. See you in Objective 1 Part 1.